Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And I've got Unity's brand new 23 for $23 mega bundle, which works out at $1 per asset. And some of these assets are worth hundreds of dollars in one. There is some amazing environmental effects, some amazing tools across pixelization, environmental effects, and even characters. Just so much in here. And it's a great, great value. And I'll go through the two tiers today and everything that's in this bundle too. And I'll put all the links down below so you can check all of it out. And I'll go through everything today and you can let me know what you think down below. Also, do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. I am doing a rework to my game Left Alone that I released in 2016. You can follow it on Twitter or subscribe to the channel here to keep yourself updated with that too if you want to see how the development goes. So we've got two tiers, one with $20 and one with $23. And the first tier for $20 has eight different assets. And then tier two has 15 different assets. So if you combine the two, each one is worth a dollar. So the first one in this bundle is the Dreamscape Mountains Stylized Open World. And this has got over 100 high quality meshes across built-in and URP with 101 different prefabs with loads of different tree meshes, rocks, foliage, and particle effects across this style. Next one is the abandoned industrial factory environment, suitable for HDRP and URP with 180 PBR related unique meshes for this industrial style environment. Next one is the RPG stylized fantasy environment, suitable for all pipelines, and it has over 200 prefabs for a unique fantasy style with loads of rocks, ruins, interactive chests and objects, and loads of diverse plant life. Then we've got Live Script Reload, which is the premium version of the one that I featured for free on my YouTube channel before. Usually Unity compiles everything in your project every time you make a change, but Live Script Reload allows you to do only the things that you've changed, so it speeds up development massively. This adds the functionality of On Device Reload, so you can use it on mobile and see the changes live. The next one is the RPG Monster Bundle Polyart, which has got 30 RPG monsters across all pipelines in this cartoony specific style. Next one is the Mountain Lake Forest Pack across all pipelines. It's a super high realistic environment with incredibly high detailed rocks, trees, ferns, and other terrain based details. We've got character Auras 3, and it's got 12 different aura effects for so many different styles. We've got the U Pixelizer, which is a pixelized for 3D scenes. This lets you take an entirely 3D scene and pixelize it. And this achieves it by rendering a low resolution render texture and then upscaling it to fit the screen. And if you do like all the tutorials I make, be sure to throw a like and subscribe to the video because it always helps me out. So thank you so much. We've got the Editor Enhancers Bundle, which comes with V Hierarchy, Folders, Tabs, Favorites, Ruler and Inspector which is a whole bunch of six different assets worth $130 to improve the entire editor workflow in Unity. Next one is we've got the JU TPS3, which is third person controller and game kit. And this has loads and loads and loads of locomotion, rotation, root motion support, enemy AI examples, weapons, melees, shooting, and suitable for loads of different camera systems. And it has loads of features for car driving, custom physics, and even things for motorbikes too. Next one, we've got Transitions Plus, and this is an effective way to perform a smooth camera transition in your project, whether you need to move in a teleporter. So you can use this in full different profiles across every different render pipeline, and it's a great asset when you want to make those transitions much smoother. We've got the Heat Complete a Modern UI in a minimalistic and modern style. Fully customized, got documentation, it's got hundreds of different customizable assets, it's got complete solutions for achievements, credits, localizations, and so much more. We've got the DLSS Upscaler for Unity, which allows you to optimize and increase frame rates with a DLSS enabled. So you can upscale a lower resolution input to generate higher quality frames. The Modular Stylized Character is another one, which includes a selection of modular parts for all different characters. You can customize the male and female body types with full humanized rigs with four different eye shapes, various hairstyles, tops, bottoms, and footwear. We've got the MFPS Mobile. So this is a first person multiplayer shooter game template optimized specifically for mobile. The template utilizes a Photon 2 and it's got things integrated like free for all, deathmatch, capture the flag, 
and it's got loads of different weapons built in with rifles, shotguns, pistols, grenade launchers, and everything that you need to get this working. We've got the Retro Horror Template, which is a framework to create mechanics for the PSX or Nintendo 64 style games. So it's got those fixed camera angles, it's got inventory systems, examining of items, weapon reloading, saving, 180 degree turning, all those classic elements that you expect from that type of game. Then we've got the dinosaur pack with babies, so it's 64 dinosaurs, which actually can grow smoothly over time, which is quite cool. And it's got a bunch of different 16 animations, and there's all the dinosaurs that you can probably imagine, and half of them you've probably never heard of either. <laughs> Next one is the Breeze Advanced Character Behavior, which is a system tool across all pipelines. It's got an easy setup wizard, it's got full guides, and it allows you to create character controllers for whether you need a shooter character, a melee character, NPCs, or wandering characters around, and it has full inverse kinematic support, supports for waypoints, weapon systems, switching between weapons, and custom AI behavior. Next one is something called Better Fog, this is some of the best looking fog I've ever seen. It's supported in URP and the built-in, not in HDRP, but it's crafted with the shader graph and it does support transparent objects, which a lot of these fog sort of style systems don't take into account. We've got the GUI of Casual Fantasy with over 460 different source PNGs, 50 unique icons, 17 UI PSDs, loads and loads of prefabs, over 190 prefabs of our buttons, frames, labels, and so much more in this style. We've got the Witch Hag animations. So it's a set of horror themed animations, which is great for witches, ghosts, and other creepy villains. So it's got 106 different animations across being able to interactions, jump scares, moves, spell castings, crawling, attacking, loads and loads of stuff. Then we've got the HDRP Medieval Fantasy of Ruins. So this has 400 insanely high quality assets across chapel, it's got various terrain items, stairs, bridges, planks, stones, doors, and so, so much more. And then last in the bundle is the stylized pirate port city, which is a bit of a tongue twister, which is supported in URP and HDRP. So it's a massive selection of high quality assets with a full stylized and modular approach to this and it just looks like an insane environment. So do be sure to check out these bundles today and I'll put all the list of everything in the description so you could check it out, all the links and everything that you need. Be sure to subscribe to me, Speed Tutor, because it always helps me out. So do let me know what you think of this bundle and if there's any assets that you particularly like. And do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And also check out all the links below to get all the rest of the savings, humble bundles and everything you can find for this month. Big thank you to all my patrons. Massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.